Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. I received a message someone want to know how to scan documents from Canon printer to computer or laptop. This is Canon MG3650 and I'm going to show you how to scan document from here to your laptop. To scan a document you need to stick the document you want to scan on top of the glass scanner and another thing is you need to make sure the printer is connected to a Wi-Fi network so the printer and the laptop both are connected to the same network then you need to download the software and the driver to your computer then connect both together now we're going to go to okay once it's connected you need to go to image garden okay so open up image garden so this is the image garden and from the image garden, you will see from the guide menu, you will see print. The first one, print, organize file, scan. Okay, so we need to select scan. So select scan. And when you select scan, then you can see author. The next thing you see is photo. PDF document, custom, stitch, and driver. Select PDF document. Okay, and once you select PDF document and this, it will start to prepare and now it's scanning. Here we go. And the next thing to do, if you want to scan the second page, you can turn it upside down. Okay, so close it. And select scan again you can do this as many times as you like okay then click exit to finish now this is the document open it up this is the document we scan open it okay this is the document we scan one okay and two okay this is the first and second one now if you want to save this document okay make sure you select the third as uh, the second okay then go to on top go on top and select file to save the document select file okay then scroll down to save okay then the next thing to do wherever you want to save this document to your computer you need to make sure you select browse where you want to save so select browse okay then you decide where you want to save this document let's say we want to save it in the document folder you select document okay and the next thing is for you to you can also name the document so you, you, you type your name to remember it okay once you type your name then click then you select pdf okay and select save now this document is saving now it's saved if you want to print it out okay the next thing to do is you need to go on top again on from select file okay when you select file scroll down to print okay and it's getting ready now it gives you option make sure you select the correct printer mg3600 series is this printer then you select the paper size is a4 paper then the next is media type is plain paper okay once it's done that then also you can also print range setting you select print range setting then if you want to print only or page one you select page one if you want to print or the select all so what we selected now is print all you also have advanced setting with advanced setting it give you option for you to select the print quality standard draft or custom so Okay. Now the next thing to do is select print. Now this document is going to print out now. Here we go.
this, this is the first one. Okay, this is the first document we printed out. This is the last, okay, but not the least. Okay, so this is the document we scan, printed it out. Now, another thing I want to show you is if you want to share this document with somebody, now our job with the image garden is pretty much done. Then you close it. Okay, then the next thing to do, you need to go to, go to your email address to attach, select new, okay? If you want to send it to somebody, select new. Then you type the email address of the person you want to send this to. So I'm going to send it back to myself. Okay, now then you go to your select insert. Okay, when you select insert, then you go to file. Okay, then the next thing to do, you need to go to document. When you select file, then you need to go to document. Okay, and type the name of the document you save and search it. Or you can also type the date you you scan the document or you save the document so i'm going to put the date here we go so once you put the date it will show you the the date you save the document in your computer okay once you put the date or if you remember the name then you type the name on the search bar for you to be able to see the document so we'll find the document select on it okay open it up once you open it up then it will attach to the inbox to the email address then you send it then you put the subject, put the so the e message you want to send to the person, for instance, okay? Then click, okay, click send. So what you need to do, you need to attach the document, okay? Once you insert, select new, okay? Select new, go to insert, select file, then go to the document. When you select the document, then you type the date, you save the document, okay? Once you type the date, the document will show up. Here we got this is the document. Okay, click it open. Now you attach it to the inbox. Put the email address of the person you want to send this to. Okay. Then click send on top. Then you click send. Now this document is sent to my inbox. Okay, and the first one we sent earlier Ron, is already, okay, arrived to my inbox. This is the first one, click it open. Okay, and this is the document we scan and send to my e email address. And this is the second one also just arrived. Let's open it up. Okay, so this is how to scan your document, attach it to your email address and send it to somebody. If you're happy with this, please do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Thank you very much indeed, and stay blessed. Thank you.